Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a nail polish collection. If you have seen my products I no longer buy and if you're following along my pretty polish you know that my nails have always been and still are <laughs> very very bad. They peel, they flake, the nail polish doesn't last on my nail. Um, my nails in the future far far away in the future my goal is to have at least like six nail polishes or something um, I guess I'm going to mention that in my inventory if I don't have the fake nails on basically um, I want some polishes in between you know so I find with just a small 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 collection so my goal this year is to work through my polishes and next year and the year after that I believe because let's face it I have a lot so in total right now I have 27 nail polishes but when this goes up I might have one or two less um, depends on my product polish <laughs> so here I have two color wheels so you can definitely see what polishes I like to wear the dark colors and the reds so I didn't do them by color or anything but by the alphabet so that is why it's a mix and not very organized but it is organized don't worry <laughs> in my bullet journal I have written down all my polishes and I will now mention them for you guys so starting off with this nude polish right here that is a Catrice polish and it is the Luxury Nude Satin Shine, this one. But this is a very nude color and it has some um, um, rose gold reflex shine to it and it's very, very nice. Then we have some Depend polishes right here and the first one is this glitter nail polish right here if you have followed along last year you know i have panned this in a project it is a depend silver blue glitter and it is this one right here i don't think you can like tell or anything but it's there the next one is a glitter as well it is a black based glitter from depend as well this one right here i hope you can see it in, in the camera because I can't do this and then it will focus. <laughs> the next one is a, also a Depend one. This very, very dark red one. It is so, so pretty. It is more sheer than I remember, but yeah, it's, it's pretty. Then we have this um, dark silver gray metallic one. It is from a Depend metallic collection. It is so, so pretty. I love this one. And the good thing about the pen, they are really, really small, so yeah, and these are the full sizes, so that's really nice for a, a nail polish collection in the future if I want to have those. Then I have three Essie nail polishes, and the first one is a red one, it is the one called Forever Yummy, this one. It is very, very pretty. I actually thought this was going to be darker than the Depend one, but as you can see, it is lighter. And then I have Licorice, which is a black nail polish, and I really, really like this one. But in the future, I won't have any Essie nail polishes because they don't last on my nails, but I like them enough to pan them. <laughs> then I have this Essie. Nail lacquer varnish. It is the one with like a metal, um, metal thingy. It is kind of a snake pattern. Um, it is called Snake It Up. And I tried to do it on this nail, but I failed. <laughs> you can kind of see it. Um, but this, I thought this was a grey, but it is a dark, dark navy um, color, which I was very happy to find out. <laughs> And then we have this one, it is one from e.l.f. and it is the e.l.f. nail polish in smoky brown. This one right here, I really really like this polish actually. And I think I panned it, yeah, in like 2016 or something. It is one of my oldest, so I need to get that one out. This 
this one is one of my favorites and it is one of my favorite formulas can you say that <laughs> formulas it is a one from kika it is this one kiko milano this is so beautiful it really, really is so i really really love this so i think i might even um, I think I might have only Kiko nail polishes or depend polishes in the future because they are the smallest and the most long lasting on my nails if I want nail polish. Then I have this light, 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 <laughs> light pink shade. It is one from Lancome. This is a very, very pretty light pink color from Lancome. I. I don't know if I like this polish, but it has a nice consistency, but you just have to put so many layers on that it gets too thick on your nails and then it will never dry down. So this is one I have just put in my budget polish. Then we have this black nail polish from Maybelline. It is the Color Show 60 Seconds in Nail Polish in Blackout. So yeah, just another black nail polish. Um, yeah. <laughs> then we have this navy blue one, which is from Nails Inc. If you have followed along my subscription box splits, you would know that I tried to pan this this uh, last year. So I really really like this nail polish actually, and I like this kind of color. Um, then we have this Nails Your. Um, nail polish this pretty pink one I have worn in a few videos lately um, it's very very ba badly swatched here but that is because I only have this much left um, but yeah this is the one um, I have it better swatched on my nail polish wheel from Pretty Polish this one so so pretty another one from Nina's Yoa is this one i just got this in an advent calendar and it is the one right here i really really like this shade i have not tried it on my nails yet but it is a very very pretty color and i'm pretty sure i can get a lot of use out of that in the summertime then we have this opi nail polish nail lacquer actually in susie skis in the Pyrenees? Pyrenees? I don't know. Um, it is this one here. This is too sheer for me. Um, it is a dark, dark grey. I don't really like this just because of the colour. It is very, very sheer and thin. Not a colour for me, but I will pan it. I can make it work. Um, but it is this one here. Then we have this one. This is my only brown. <laughs> when I bought this, I thought I was just going to be a more adventurous about my nail polish. But yeah, I like it. It is different from whatever I wear. Um, it's a small metallic, uh, metallic brown shade. It is called Heat Some Cocoa. I really, really like this. And I actually like the formula of P2 nail polishes a lot. Then we have some Technic um, nail polishes that I'm panning in my project pan. Uh, my project polish. <laughs> and the one I have on my nails right now is this Technic red orange nail polish. We really, really like this shade a lot. Um, but this Technic formula is not that good. It just chips very fast. And then I have this metallic grey shade. I love this. This is my favorite gray shade I have ever gotten, um, except for this Depend one, which is like, um, it is more silver than gray. So this is the Depend and this is the Technic. So um, yeah, that was the first wheel. And then I have gathered all of my W7 polishes on this one. The first shade right here is my W7 nail polish matte finish in um what are you called uh, matte beige right here and these are so so cool and I really really like the formula actually um they dry matte and that is very very <laughs> cool I think uh, for nail polishes because all of the other ones is kind of shiny 
But these are something different. And then the next one is this one. It is the same matte finish in matte sludge or something. I don't know. This is a pretty taupe color and it's very, very pretty on the nails. Then we have this one. This is a very glittery black gray shade. I really, really like this one. This is very pretty. This one. And they, the bottles is just as big as the OPI. <laughs> that is kind of funny, I think. And then the colorful ones. <laughs> they, these are minis. Here. They're really, really small and pretty. This is... Okay, I have some... Um, names for them, but I don't know which is which because they don't have names on the nail polish. But I'm pretty sure this is a red dazzle because it has a lot of glitter and it's kind of sheer. This is two coats. So it's very, very sheer, but it has a lot of red glitter. So I think it is very pretty on top of this red shade, which is this one right here. And I no, this is a uh, pillar, pillar box red. I don't know. <laughs> this is this one. And then I have the three pink ones. Um, I'm not sure. I have one called fl fluorescent pink. It's pink and fuchsia. So I will just show you the colors, but I don't know which is which. So the first one is this hot pink purple color. It is very, very pretty. And then we have this one. This is a very hot pink because this one had, had a more purple tone to it. This is a straight up hot pink. And then we have this one, which is very, very... It's more nude without being nude. Um, and it has a purple um, shine to it. It's very, very pretty. And this is the one I would definitely wear the most because it's not that bright. These are my W7 polishes and overall you just saw my wheels but these are the colors I have and I hope you enjoyed this video. It is something else but I really want to uh, focus on my nail polishes and don't neglect them and have nice nails. <laughs> I'm really really trying about that so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like comment and subscribe um, to my channel if you haven't already i would love to see you in my next video um, and i really hope you will follow along in my projects and please check out my project polish if you haven't already i have some very great progress in the, for that first update yeah and then i just hope you will take care until i will see you in my next video bye guys